<clears throat> Got my new mic. Gonna see if this will work. Learning process, guys, you know, learning process. All right, let's talk. Okay, so today, although I'm surrounded by my outside plants and it's so nice outside, I think it's like 65 in Chicago today and it's September 4th, which is insane because it should be like 90. I am going to talk a little bit about something that has affected a few people in the plant community and is uh, kind of going around and it's something that I also dealt with. So I figured I would address it and I would fill you guys in on this nice little movement that one of my planty friends has started. And uh, it's pretty interesting too because a little bit about me. I had no intention, <laughs> none, in ever starting a YouTube page. I never even, if we're being honest and transparent, I never even watched YouTube until my husband told me about it, pretty much. Like, we would look things up on YouTube just to, like, figure out how to do something or fix something, you know, like, watch a tutorial on something, and it came in handy for that. But he started telling me more and more about how YouTube is more like TV and people have their own channels and this is what the world is resorting to, that it's not about, you know, HBO and cable anymore. It's <laughs> YouTube's where it's at, right? And I was like, okay, cool, yeah, fine, but it's just not for me. And I got into plants um, really about two years ago now. I started getting into plants and I've had a couple of plants for multiple years. Um, but other than that, I just couldn't really keep anything alive. And uh, I decided one day, oh, I'm gonna try it. I, I'm gonna get a few plants and see if I can keep them alive. They stayed alive. So I was really excited about it. And I was like, hmm, maybe I should create like a plant Instagram and do that on the side. Sidebar, I'm a wedding photographer. So I have a lot of downtime in the winter months. And um, during that time, I find myself like restless and, and bored. And, you know, there's only so much we can do because all of our editing is finished. And really all we do during the winter months is kind of focus on the website and like what we're going to do for the next year and maybe meet clients along the way. So there's a good three months that we're kind of off of work aside from our three kids and two dogs and crazy house. But... Um, I find myself developing little hobbies every winter <laughs> and about two years ago I started really getting into plants and I was like okay let me start this this Instagram page and kind of see where it goes and from the Instagram page just after posting a few pictures I realized wow like this community is a really sweet fun loving happy community and that's what I'm all about I am um a very optimistic, happy person, I guess you can say. Like even when times are a little tough, I try to look on the brighter side of things and be happy. So um, I was like, this is totally me. Like this is my environment. Like I'm gonna go for this, you know? So I kept posting on Instagram, met a few people along the way. And then I started seeing from Instagram that a few of these um, planty people had YouTube pages and I was like, what are they talking about on YouTube when it comes to plants, you know? So I started following a few people on YouTube and I was like, oh my gosh, this is such a fun community. I noticed all the comments were fun and uplifting and inspirational and full of ideas for like people to try other things with their plants and how to's and repottings and just a really fun community. So I was talking to my husband and I was like, you know, maybe this is something I could do in my downtime. And he's like, well, you know, it's not all it's cracked up to be. Like, it's not all fun and games. Like, creating a YouTube channel takes a lot of work. Creating videos takes a lot of work. You know, what you're watching on the screen doesn't necessarily mean like someone's just 
press and record on their iPhone and just repotting a plant and then throwing it up on YouTube. Yeah, you can do that, but if you want it to look like the people that you're watching, it takes a little bit more editing, a little bit more know-how, which I didn't have. <laughs> I don't have any fancy editing software. So I was like, okay. He's like, but you know, do it, you know? And then he was like, you know, you can actually make money off of it. And I was like, what? And I always knew like YouTubers made money, but I didn't know exactly like what that entailed. And it was kind of like, a, I don't know, like I just didn't dip into that realm of the world and I didn't see myself being a YouTuber making money off of YouTube, you know? So it's like, oh, you need like a million subscribers and like it's too much work. I don't have time for that. I only have a couple months off. And then it's back to like hardcore wedding season where I barely have time to relax. But I'm always up for a little bit of a challenge. So I decided that if I created a YouTube page to share content with everybody, I was already repotting. I was already doing a few projects along the way might as well share it with everybody and if I get the amount of subscribers I need and if I start making money off of YouTube then hey it could just support my plant addiction you know what I'm saying so that's when I created my YouTube channel I have never been in front of a camera I think there was like one time maybe in grammar school where like a news station came into the room and was recording us for some reason. I don't know, maybe about like some new part of the building or something. And I remember being on the news and my mom recording it and me being mortified because I was like, mom, like this, I don't want to be on TV. Although I took acting in college, so I loved being on stage, but being in front of a camera was a whole different thing. Like I'm behind the camera. I'm a photographer. So I stay behind the scenes, not in front of the camera. So I was a little nervous, needless to say. And I remember when I recorded my first video for YouTube, my husband actually recorded it. And uh, number one supporter, you're the best, babe. Um, he was like, okay, like, you know, just think about what you're going to say and just be natural and just, you know, say it. And I was like, because I was promoting my YouTube, my new YouTube page. And I was recording this video to post on Instagram and on Facebook to promote my channel, pretty much. I think we took like 25 takes for that one little 30 second clip. It was, it was hilarious. If you, if you scroll back through my Instagram, you could, you could see it. It's, it's pretty comical. But I remember thinking, I'm not going to be able to do this. Like, how am I going to be able to record like 15, 20 minute videos if I can't get through 30 seconds of an intro? And I found myself thinking, well, like, you know, I did my hair, uh, I had makeup on, I put on clothes I normally don't wear. And I was like, this is not me. Like, I don't want to have to do this every time I want to repot a plant. Or I don't want to have to do this when I go out plant shopping. Like, I dress up on the weekend for weddings. And I live in my pajamas Monday through Friday. Monday through Thursday, unless I have a wedding on Friday. So, like sweats in a t-shirt pretty much is me. That's me every day. And um, so I was telling him, I was like, I don't want to have to do this, you know. And he was like, well, you know, you don't have to, you know, it's, it's whatever. And I mean, no offense to people that actually do that. Hey, if that's what you're about, awesome. But it just wasn't me. And then I found myself thinking, well, people are going to be critical. People are going to be looking at me like, hey, Nicole, why don't you put some makeup on? Like, you look like you just rolled out of bed. Like, what's with the hair? What's with the baggy t-shirt every time you're in a video? And I was thinking like, I don't want to do this, you know, because I was feeling a little self-conscious about what people were going to think. And then I started realizing that's not me either. I really don't care what other people think, but I guess I was just subconsciously thinking like, I don't, I don't want to get those comments, you know? And then I started thinking about the plant community again and how great they are and like how people don't do that in the plant community. People are super sweet and it's all about advice and, and lifting people up and inspiration. So I was like, 
that's not going to happen. People are going to watch these videos because I'm repotting, because I'm giving you knowledge on a plant, because I'm going plant shopping. They're not going to care about what I'm wearing or what I look like. So started YouTube, posted a few more videos, and then I started getting a few comments, um, which I don't really care to repeat here, but for reference, like someone called me a racist, <laughs> um, which explained that to me. Um, I don't understand that. Someone said that, you know, things were handed to me because I was white and privileged. Um, and a few more other things that I won't say. Now, you guys probably have not seen those comments because they were blocked right away and reported to YouTube, as should anybody do if, if you get comments like that, because they should not be in the plant community leaving uh, stuff like that on people's pages. So you probably haven't seen those and you're just seeing the uplifting comments and the comments that are, you know, giving advice and saying, oh my gosh, I love your channel and, and all these happy comments. But if you don't do YouTube and you're not um, reading the comments, I guess this is just to say that it's out there. And in a time where bullying is so strong in schools and the world is experiencing bullying from people in charge. I'm not getting political with this video, <laughs> just stating facts here. Um, and just so much stuff going on. I just feel like people need to be a little bit more kind. And we get to the topic of the video because if you're still watching, Thank you, because this is not a plant video at all. This is real talk. Um, Pam from Pammy's Planty Things has also experienced some of these negative comments over on her page, and she's recently told me about them. Um, Deborah Christmas was the one who inspired this movement. I wouldn't call it a movement yet until more of you guys get involved, but this project that we're doing here. Um, she recently posted a video about how somebody left some pretty nasty comments about her um, and it upset her. Those comments and those negative remarks, as tough skin as somebody may have, like myself or like I try to tell myself, those comments in that moment are affecting you in some way. You're reading it in that moment and you're thinking, you know, it takes you back. You're like, why would you say that? You know, like, I'm not a racist. Like, who are you? Like you're hiding behind a, a computer screen, typing on a keyboard. You're not doing this. You're not getting in front of a camera. And it takes you back for a second and it makes you think, like, should I be doing this? And it brings you down, whether people like to admit it or not. Um, and for someone who doesn't have such tough skin or who's dealing with something emotional or who has anxiety issues or <clears throat> who may have very low self-esteem and this was extremely out of their comfort zone to even start a YouTube page, just one comment like that can bring somebody way, way down. And the internet is, is a, it's a scary place. It's a real place where people can say and pretty much do whatever they want to do. And uh, I just feel like that type of criticism and negativity doesn't belong in this, in our community here of plant parents. So Pam started a hashtag and it's called Planty Kindness Project. And she has created this video pretty much as an inspiration video from Deborah Christmas's video that she recently posted. And I'm gonna link these, both of these ladies' videos down below. She has nominated me and two other amazing YouTubers, um, which I'll also link their pages below 
to create a video and to kind of extend this hashtag to the plant community and to, to challenge people to get out there and make a video on being kind and not being <laughs> there's no other way to put it right don't be a jerk be kind when we really take a step back and like look at who these people could possibly be who's um, writing these comments. My husband made a good point. He's like, you know, it's probably some teenager whose parents aren't monitoring them online, who's just sitting at his computer or her computer all day and just leaving these nasty comments because they can. And I'm like, yeah, you're probably right. It doesn't disregard the fact that it could affect you even in that moment and bring you down a little bit. And I don't see a point in it. I don't see a point. If, if you have nothing to say, as, pa as Pam said in her video, don't say anything at all. That's how I was raised. If you have nothing nice to say, keep your freaking mouth shut. So, right, Mom? That's what you taught me, right? We have three daughters, and they are... One is approaching high school, one is in upper uh, junior high, and the other one is just about to enter junior high in a year or so. I'm terrified for bullying. I worry about it every day. I know that my girls are strong enough to handle it, but, and none of them have, have experienced any as far as I know to an extreme that it's going to affect them. But I can only hope and pray that they make it through high school because this world is a, it's a scary place. It starts at home and I just, kids can be mean adults can be mean and I just don't feel like this is the community for that no community is the community for it really but this plant community I was drawn into it because it had so much positive um, it had so much positivity and inspiration and it was like my go-to place like I would read people's comments and be like gosh this is such such a great community of people and it is still it totally is it just took me hearing Deborah's video hearing about Pam's situation and getting those comments my myself to realize okay this does happen everywhere and unfortunately you know I'm so appreciative for all of my subscribers and you guys following my journey thus far and continuing to watch my videos and give me positive feedback but Unfortunately, the more we grow and the more subscribers we get, the more susceptible we are to those negative comments because it's just that many more people watching your channel. And my husband warned me about it. He said, you know, are you ready for that? Like, are you going to be able to handle that? And um, while I can, there are people out there that just can't. And it could really just bring somebody completely down. So, you guys ready for a challenge? I am going to shout out three. Yes, three, because I can't do this because my fingers are retarded. I won't get a negative comment about my alien fingers. Three YouTubers to create a video telling a little bit about yourself, telling a little bit about how maybe you possibly experienced a little bit of negativity in the YouTube community and how you're going to do your part in making YouTube a friendlier place. Planty Kindness Project. Okay, three YouTubers. I'm literally thinking about this on the top of my head because I didn't think about this before I pressed record. So, YouTuber number one. Becca, yeah, you already knew I was calling you out if you're watching this. Um, Becca from De La Plants, I challenged you to create one of these videos. Hmm. Adam, <laughs> like you have nothing better to do after moving across country, right? Not dude, I challenge you to create one. And let's see, who else... My dog's moving my camera. Prime. Steph. Steph Hall. I challenge you to create one. 
Okay, guys, so don't feel obligated if you don't want to. Um, this is more personal video. This could affect my channel. I may have lost maybe, you know, a few subscribers by now. Uh, just from you guys listening to me talk for, for the past 20 minutes or however long I've been talking. I hope my recorder's still going. Yeah, it is. Oh, 21 minutes. It's telling me how long I've been talking. 21 minutes. That's nice. Um, so... I challenge you guys to create a video like this, talking about the stuff I just mentioned, and hopefully it will do a few things. One, it will help people that are on YouTube that create these videos um, get through some of those negative comments and realizing that they're not the only ones out there. Everybody gets them. Two, inspire someone who's contemplating doing YouTube to know that it's not something that you should take to the core. And uh, it helps build you, build you up and realize that, you know, hey, I am stronger than I think I am. And three, it will turn into a movement. Um, I want to use this hashtag on Instagram. So this will follow a post on Instagram. And... Anybody who is not on YouTube, if you're just a subscriber and you're following me on Instagram at my clean leaves, be sure to post something in your stories, in your feed, use the hashtag planty kindness project and tag me and uh, let me know what act of kindness you did for someone today or tomorrow or yesterday. It could be anything. It could be you know, maybe I'll give my neighbor who never seems to come out of his house, maybe I'll leave a plant on his doorstep. Maybe I will send my kids to school with a little plant or a nice note for their teachers since they just started school. Or maybe I'll just compliment somebody shopping at Target because I kind of want to go to Target later for no reason at all. Maybe I'll tell someone, hey, I love that shirt. I do that often when I'm at weddings because people are, you know, guests are at weddings and they're dressing up really nicely and maybe you don't dress up every day like your girl. So I'll be walking past someone and I'll just say, hey, I love that tie or I love that dress. Like, where did you get that dress? Little tiny compliments like that really bring people up. I don't get them very often. If I do, they're probably just for my husband. But they really bring you up. And every time you guys leave comments like, someone told me the other day that I have great skin. Thank you. I hate my skin. That really made my day to the point where I even like told my husband about it and it's still in my head like comments like that really stick with people and as do the negative ones so we really need to stick with the positive comments stick with the uplifting comments because they have a great effect on boosting people's self-esteem and helping somebody get through what may be a really crappy day or week or month or year. We're approaching the holidays. It's getting kind of crazy. It's going to get kind of crazy. You know, some people love the holidays. <laughs> like me, I'm so excited. <sighs> it's going to be Halloween. Some people hate them. Some people may not get along with family. Someone may have lost somebody around the holiday season and it's a really tough time to get through holidays. Um, it's, it's a chaotic time of the year. And I feel like everybody needs a little bit of cheer. <laughs> I'm starting to get at a loss for words because now it has been 25 minutes since I've started talking. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you so much, Pam, for posting that uh, hashtag and starting that hashtag and creating your video. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Deborah Christmas, for always being such a sweetheart and leaving such amazing comments on my page and putting out great YouTube content. Guys, her channel is so informative. She's a gardener at heart, I believe. And 
she has grown so much in just her back space that like it's inspired me to do so much and then she has this amazing little collection of cacti and she's always repotting something and I just I love how genuine she is so go follow her and thank you for posting that vulnerable video Deborah because you're a true inspiration girl and um thank you Becca thank you Adam and thank you Steph for participating in this little uh project you can do it, right? Thank you so much for watching this video as always. And let's not give thumbs ups. Let's not give thumbs downs. Let's just, you know, comment with something nice. How about that? And if you're new here, trust me, go back, scroll through my feed. This is, I don't post videos like this. This was definitely just a much needed video that needed to be done. But my whole channel is about plants. And, and a little bit of gardening because I'm a wannabe gardener. So if you like that stuff, subscribe to my channel and be kind. I'll see you guys in my next one.